Hello and welcome back to Air Allotment. I will be giving you an update what's been going on. Um, as you can see, the rhubarb is really starting to come out now, along with the gooseberries. And a little apple tree there, you should have some nice apples this year. They have really sprouted after all that rain. This construction next to the rhubarb is an onion patch. We have put 239 onions in there and we'll give, show you, uh, we've just got to do a little bit more woodwork down that one side and we'll show you the finished product afterwards. Just give you a little more update. Uh, there's my bean construction, my French beans on the small canes, the medium beans canes there are going to be my, uh, I'll just find the ticket, hold on, runner beans, no they're not, no they're not, I will take that again, mucked that up didn't I, mange two on the little beans, canes, French beans on the middle section and the runner beans on the large section at the end. We did put some in a pot, I think the missus, yeah, got me to move it the other day, yeah, I moved it around there. There they are, in their little pony tu poly tunnel. In the back, we have got the ones with the toilet rolls still on them. The ones in the front, I took the toilet rolls off to see if there's any difference in growth and production of the beans. We'll see what happens later on. Um, I'll get the missus to give you a little update of the what's going on in the garden. Okay, now the missus over to, handing you over to the wife in the greenhouse. Good afternoon, it's Sunday. Um, you know, we've just got down to the allotment and we're now sitting at 21 degrees in the greenhouse. Um, as you can see, um, the peas are doing fantastic. We've got just two at the moment that aren't showing anything. So I've got one in, some I've got two in. I am going to set another um, lot of peas off so they will get successionally. And um, again, the sec when the second one's going, there will be the same variety, Alderman. As you can see, our wild garlic is doing really well in here. It will be going out soon, so it, it should do okay. And, Nigel, muddy boots, look, I have got celery. I am so excited, so excited. Little green specks. Yes, it's starting to come up. I can't believe it. Well, brilliant. And also, it looks like um, I've got some growth there. A little bit more growth on this one. Uh, maybe on this one. And also on this one. These are my begonias that I put, I put in a, um, a couple of weeks ago now. Um, obviously, oh, it looks like there's a bit more something going on that one as well. So it looks like they're doing fantastically as well. So great. Potatoes. Yes. Still not in. Michael, they are going to be going in, aren't they? Yes, dear. Yes, they are going to be Pull going in. Pull out. Oh, don't forget the carrots. I'm going to the carrots now, dear. Okay. Right. Let me in, let me in. Oh, look at them little beauties. There they oh, are. Oh, even the nanties too have got some growth coming on. Yeah. So Hello. the Primo Good. F1s are doing really Those. well. Those. The Amsterdam ones are doing really well. Yes. Tough to bits of those. Definitely. We didn't think they were going to come up, did we? No, we didn't. So I'm oh. pleased. Please as punch. I'll put the lid back on them. Okay, these are some sweet peas that I've sown. Um, these are coming up really well. These are going to go down the bottom um, to climb up the um, cage that we've got. Beautiful looking um, sweet peas. Um, these are the Sublime Scent Mixed. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, um, got apparently that. got a nice strong scent, so that'll make you sneeze sweetie. Thank you for giving me a fever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm one of the misses' neck. Let's go over to the other ones over here. Uh, what are those? Those, those are, are the Monge too. No, we've got nothing on those, those at the moment. Those are the Summer Medley um, Runner Beans. Um, a same with these here. One's Runner Beans and the other's French Beans. That's but it. they were only just put in the other day, so yeah, nothing don't expect at the moment. much to no, on those yet, no, so nothing. they're fine. Um, these are what I've sewn at home. These are some jet black violas and they're doing brilliantly. They look good. They Looking look good. really good. Just keep me a little bit warm now with the um And my melon. No, sorry, not my melon plants, my 
pepper plant once the missus gets her arm out of the shot are in there. They've got to be. I've got to, got to repot those on. Yeah, yeah definitely. They those. are really. Is there another one coming up? Yep, yeah, another one. Little so how many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 11 peppers. So oh, yeah. I love my peppers. There's um, a bit what are these there. over here, Jan? Those are um, chillies. Oh, the chillies, yeah. Yes, they're, these they're, are the chillies. These are off the, gone, that. These are the ones um, yeah. that the nephew bought back um, from yeah. Tenerife Seeds. Well, you're going to give him a trial, so, give him some. Yeah. You, you can uh, try and make first I end. These so. are, um, these also are some um, sweet peas, but these are the dwarfed trailing variety right, of let's sweet just show peas. You. Let's just show you that, yeah. It's what sweet pea, Sutton's sweet peas. Sutton's sweet peas, but these are the dwarf trailing ones, so these are for the hanging baskets. Right, I'll just stop the camera and I'll get down on my knees to show you what's going on underneath. Right, as you can well see, the Calabrese at the black. Iron Man. Coming Man, the Iron Man. That's cabbage, which is, can you see, Jan? Golden Acre. Golden Acre. Next one along is this Red one. Red Cabbage Rodeo. Red Cabbage, yes, ready for the um, cold slaw. There's the Cauli wife's cauliflower. favourite, cauliflower, which I don't like. And these I love, ready for Brussels Christmas, sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Okay. Brody. Brody. They're Brody Brussels sprouts, aren't they? I'm right here. Okay, these are... The beetroot. The beetroot, and they're just starting to come through. Three different varieties. Three, oh, What's the varieties, Jan? Okay, hey. we have got Pablo F1. We have got Rainbow, which is there really nice. They're a multitude of different colours. Okay. And I think these might be the uh, Boltardi. Yeah. Boltardi ones, okay. Okay, they're looking good. The next yes. tray is. This is the lettuce tray. The lettuce tray. Now, these, um, on the end, we've got Iceberg. Mm -hmm. Next to that, we've got Wallpath. Yeah. The middle one here is um, Hollywood. Then that we've one. got Sweet Success. That one. Amaze. Now, there's it's nothing. Def there's definitely nothing amazing about them. Mm. Playing up. There's nothing there at all, is it? And the little gems are looking little, good. Little so, gems. Yeah, they're good. That's good. This one. Spring onions. I'm going to have to reset. Now, there's they three. They haven't sprung, have they? No, there's three different varieties in this, and this, these were all done on the same day. So I okay. don't know what the problem is with that one. Mm. Looks like there's something starting to want to come up there. Maybe if we brought it up and gave it a little bit more light. Yeah, we might do. We'll try that, see how it happens. And the next one? Um, this one is the Swiss Chard. Hold on, I'll zoom into that let you see that. So it's there bright. is some life on them. There's bright lights and this, um, this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's good. That looks good, that little lot. Keep us going for a while. Um, but there's loads more sewing to be done. Okay, we'll give you an update on the sewing when we've done it. Bye for now. Okay, there we have it. The onion structure all completed. The only thing really to do is put two pieces of wood across the top and then the enviro mesh all over the top so the birds can't get in. Peck at the onions as they think they are worms because they're colour blind. <sighs> That's one thing done. So the next big thing is to get these two beds, which I'll show you now. There's a horseradish. That is coming up lovely. Three, three nice new shoots in there, maybe four. We've got to get this bed dug in, ready for the potatoes, all that manure dug in, and then this structure moved over onto there when I move the shed, and I've got to dig all that manure in as well. That's for our potatoes as well. So that's an update on the old allotment. It's looking like a lot of structures at the moment, but nothing growing, but bit of warm weather and it'll soon pick up. Hopefully that will be sooner than we uh, think. If you like our video please subscribe and follow. Thank you very much. Bye for now.